Albert Einstein became world famous, in itself an unusual achievement for a scientist. In popular culture, his name has become synonymous with great intelligence and genius. Einstein was born in Germany in 1879 and he died in 1955. But 2005 marked the 100th anniversary of the release of three of his most influential scientific papers documents which revolutionized humankind's understanding of the universe. In 1905, he wrote three seminal papers that are still without match in the scientific community. All three are symbols of what is known as Einstein's miracle year. The man who postulated the formula E equals MC squared was honored in the world's largest exhibit of his kind at New York City's American Museum of Natural History. The museum has devised many scientific interactive displays aimed at explaining in simple terms the genius of Einstein's theories concerning light, gravity and time. The time display illustrates Einstein's radical understanding that the length of any interval of time varies according to how fast the clock and the observer are moving. The gravity section illustrates, via an interactive display, how Einstein considered gravity not as a force, but as the effect of massive objects warping space-time. As a young man, Einstein muddled through the Polytechnic School in Zurich and failed to find a job in a university. In 1939, physicist Leo Sazard enlisted Einstein's help to write a letter to President Franklin Roosevelt urging him to begin a study of nuclear fission for military purposes, as a group of physicists believed the Nazi government would be the first to develop atomic weapons. Roosevelt took note of the letter and initiated the massive Manhattan Project, which ultimately developed the atomic bombs dropped on Japan in 1945. Einstein himself did not work on the bomb project. The Enola Gay, a B-29 Superfortress bomber, dropped Little Boy, the first atomic bomb ever used in warfare, when the United States Army Air Force attacked Hiroshima in Japan on August 6, 1945. It's believed that more than 140,000 people died by the end of the year as a result of that bomb, and the total number who died will probably never be established. Einstein was held in such high regard by his peers and politicians that his letter initiated the development of the nuclear bomb. Einstein's impact on society went beyond the world of physics and astronomy. He was not a politician, but held political and moral views, which may have, in the view of the public, helped separate him from his scientific peers. Einstein continued to contribute to science even decades after his death, a handful of researchers, like Dr. Marion Cleves Diamond, have had the opportunity to study portions of Einstein's brain, which was preserved, without permission, by Dr. Thomas Harvey, a pathologist who conducted an autopsy on Einstein in 1955. He remained in possession of the brain and allowed only a few scientists to conduct research with samples of the brain tissue. Today, the bulk of Einstein's brain is in the possession of the medical center at Princeton. Einstein's brain had statistically significantly higher levels of glial cells in his parental lobe of the left cerebral hemisphere, an area believed to be particularly useful in skills related to physics. Other studies have indicated that certain areas of Einstein's brain that could be related to scientific thought were wider than average. But whether it's the study of his anatomy, physics, philosophy, genius or biography, it's clear that Einstein remains an icon to the scientific world and the public alike to this day.